Hi guys, I'm Kumar Gaurav. I'm a user experience designer and today we are going to create an e-commerce application which displays deals of the week and this is going to be an iOS application uh, and the e-commerce industry which I'm going to cater to today is, uh, is a grocery uh, store. So let's get started. Before I, uh, you know, get into Sketch app, I want to tell you to download few tools which may help you uh, along the way. Uh, for example, just download this uh, Google material icons from Sketch app resources and keep it open in your desktop so that you can, you know, take icons from the file. Uh, for example, I'm going to show you. Uh, so I have downloaded and opened the file. So here I see all my uh, material design icons. And yeah, so now I'm going to jump back to my normal e-commerce application. Now here, first thing first, let's create an artboard. So press A on your keyboard. And you get all the set of presets here for different mobile devices for different mobile sizes for different you know uh, the interfaces so you see tablet you see desktop you see you know iphone 7 as well as you see a mobile portrait version so as i said uh, earlier that we are going to create for iphone 7 uh, let's uh, click on this to get an artboard for iphone now here uh, i have my artboard ready I have to get my system status first, which is, you know, the battery, how much battery I have, what all, you know, apps are open, blah, blah, blah. So uh, for that, I am going to go to files and from the templates, which is already there in the sketch, I'm going to go to iOS UI design and open this. So once I open this, I see a lot of... Uh, you know different uh, different UI elements of uh, iOS design but I'm gonna zoom into this area and take this one uh, which is 100% battery one and copy this and go back to my e-commerce application and just gonna paste it oops yeah just gonna paste it so once I paste it I, I am able to select it um, yeah, so now it's there. Now you are not able to see it because there's the, the, the status bar is white and the background is white. So I'm going to, you know, grab a rectangle, which means I'm going to press uh, R on my keyboard to, you know, draw a rectangle. And let's say this is going to be uh, 68 pixels. Yeah, uh, this needs to be behind the status bar. So yeah, now you see the status bar, right? So I'm going to give it some color and as well as remove the borders. So I'm going to give it uh, a little pinkish and reddish mix shade. Uh, a little bit on, yeah. So yeah, this color. Now uh, let's add, let's add uh, the title of the page which is deals of the day. So deals of the day. Oh, sorry, deals of the week. Yeah. And now I'm gonna put in the center, just gonna make it, you know, 16 pixels and font is gonna be Helvetica. So yeah. And one more thing I want to do is I want to make it center aligned as well as I go to type to make it uppercase so that whatever I, you know, choose to write uh, tomorrow, I, I can just write it in, a, you know, small, small letters and it is automatically going to convert it to the uppercase. Uh, let me revert it back to week. Yeah, so done. Now I'm going to center align it 
exactly yeah and now uh, i need a back icon to go back to my you know the, the home screen the previous page so i'm gonna, gonna go to uh, material icon set yeah and now i need to grab back icon from here which is mm, where it is where it is Oh, there it is. So I'm going to take this icon and oops. Yeah, and I come to my screen. Now I'm going to zoom to this area by pressing Z on my keyboard and select the shape which is this, I'm going to make it white, yeah, now it looks better, now zoom back, yeah, looks good actually, I'm going to make it a little down, yeah, that's, that's fine now, this looks better, uh, Gonna move the left, uh, the icon to the little left. So, one second now. There's something wrong in alignment. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna center align this, which is fine, it looks okay. And I'm gonna move it a little, yeah, now this is fine. So, now I'm going to create uh, the sorting filter options as well as number of products uh, which is going to be shown on this page. So that the user have visibility that how many products he's going to you know, see on this page uh, or many, how many products are on, you know, uh, are, are on this offer screen for you know, deals of the week. So I'm going to make it uh, 40 pixels. Yeah, and now I'm gonna make it white. Uh, again, you don't see it because there's no actually background. There's no, you don't see it because there's no background actually. Uh, sorry. Now I'm gonna, before I do anything else, I'm gonna add a background to this. So, yeah. Again, I'm gonna press R, and now this time I'm gonna make a background from bottom to top, and now I'm gonna drag this layer to just below everything. Okay. So now you see this white, right? This is gonna be my area where I'm gonna display how many number of products uh, will be shown on this page. So uh, let's move borders to this and make it very light gray yeah this looks good and now let's add uh, you know the number of products which is going to be uh, 20 but let's left line first and give it a dark color so it's visible I'm gonna make it 16 pixels. No, oh, sorry, 14 pixels. And this is gonna be 20 products. This is gonna be a dynamic number, so it doesn't matter. I write 20 or 25 or whatever, right? 20 products. Uh, yeah. And now this is good to go. Uh, I'm gonna just make it aligned properly yeah so 20 pick 20 products will be shown on this page and now I'm gonna add a filter and uh, sort functionality here so I'm again gonna jump back to material icons I'm gonna close this is not really required anymore so I'm just gonna close it uh, don't save 
and now yeah here we are uh, now let me find the icon which suits uh, filter functionality mm -mm -mm -mm. yeah there we go so I got an icon uh, now jumping back to my artboard where I am creating icons so I'm going to duplicate this uh, the method to duplicate this is really simple just select the elements you want to duplicate press option on your keyboard and drag it so that's how you create a duplicate and now I'm going to name it as filter and change the icon to oops change the icon to this and now again let's make it 16 pixels and I'll just remove it and add this one just to make sure that the you know the difference between the icon and text is same I'm gonna calculate that by pressing alt on my option on my keyboard let's make some distance from left so it's 16 and this one is 12 Let's move it four pixels to the towards right. Yeah, done. So here I see filter as well as uh, sort by. Just one thing, I am kind of feeling that the icon. Uh, oh, sorry, the line is a little too big, so I'm gonna make it fourteen pixels. I'm gonna center line it. Let's make the color a little light yeah done so this part is done now uh, let's jump to create product catalog now let's draw a rectangle press R on your keyboard and I'm gonna move it to the top Let's calculate the distance first. Uh, should be fine if we make it one second. So I need to calculate 16 from left, 16 from right. And I'm gonna make it. Sixteen from right. Yeah, done. So it's going to be one sixty three by one sixty three. Oh, sorry, one sixty three and one sixty three. And now, uh, let's work on this one. So uh, I'm going to make it 210 so that we have ample space to show our product plus description plus blah blah blah. Now I'm going to make it white and remove any border which is there. So now you see the contrast uh, behind. Uh, I'm going to give us some radius, let's say 8. Is it a little too much? So maybe four. Yeah. And now uh, we're going to add, you know, whether the product is veg or non veg. So that sign is really required in the grocery uh, shopping, you know, application. So I'm going to create a rectangle, a small rectangle of, uh, you know, proportionate size. Let's say 16. Uh, and then I'm gonna zoom it to this. This is gonna also have a circle, which is again gonna be proportionate. Now here, uh, I'm gonna add 
a green color to this. Let's say I'm a bit closer to this. Yeah, better. Okay, let's see. Uh, remove border. Oh, come on. Remove border. Remove border for this as well. Or maybe. Oh, sorry. Let's leave the border there. And gonna make it again a uh, green and make the fill white yeah there you see a vegetarian sign so I'm gonna group it command G on a keyboard and we'll properly space it out 8 pixels from left to right yeah here you get your vegetarian sign looks a little big we'll see if we need to you know make it a little smaller maybe 12 pixels come on we wanna have 8 pixels from top and left now let's add some product images so i already have downloaded some images uh, so gonna use that so i'm just gonna go and drag images from my resource panel and paste it here There it is. There we go. So now I'm gonna towards right, left align it, space it so that you see like the images. Now I'm gonna drag and drop this image here and make it really small so that it fits there maybe yeah 75 looks okay i'm gonna zoom to that area again and put it in the center So we're gonna have 24 pixel from top and yeah looks fine let's center line it done now uh let's write the weight of the product it is gonna be 500 pix uh, 500 grams uh gms and gm and make it Say 12 pixels and right align it. And I'm gonna again make it 8 from top and 8 from bottom. Oh, sorry, 8 from top and 8 from right. And reduce the, the color so it doesn't, you know, really grabs attention all the time. Yeah, this looks fine. And now let's uh, maybe reduce the size a little bit more this is fine yeah this looks okay and now i'm gonna you know add the name of the product so let's say apple best of himalaya And center line it. Done. Now uh, let's make it this way. Two, you know, uh, let's begin to two uh, lines. And uh, I'm gonna increase the line spacing so that it looks a little better. 
and now I'm gonna increase the size to 14 pixels increase the line height as well this is gonna be dark in color so let's make it black for now and I am thinking to make it light and this font as well a uh, light one I'm gonna make it center line and now let's write prices so there will be two types of prices uh, one is the actual price and one is after discount price so let's make it you know fifty dollars and then fifty dollars thirty four cents and then uh, I'm gonna strike this one because this is uh, the one which which is the original price and just go to the settings and you have this option to strike that's how we strike uh, in sketch a text and I'm gonna make it this side and uh, create a copy of it and this time it is gonna be uh, let's give it some good discount let's say 10% discount which is gonna be 45 and this time I'm gonna remove the strike because this is gonna be the price which on which the customers are gonna buy this product so yeah and now now let's put it a little closer that is fine again this is going to be a little dark not this light at least so yeah maybe this much this much is good yeah i'm gonna make it center line to the page oh sorry sorry to the rectangle uh how about grouping it first and then selecting the background layer make it center line yeah it's already in center distance 12 is a little too much so I'm gonna make it 8 yeah and then I'm gonna add a button which can help you know a user to add this to the cart so I'm gonna create a rectangle which is Yeah, this looks okay. And I'm gonna have an add functionality, add to cart. Oops, looks like it's again below. I'm gonna drag and drop it on the top. Now let's select the rectangle and yeah make it regular center line make it white and this is also gonna be you know uh, in uppercase and now the background which I'm planning to again give it you know the same uh, accent color which we are using for the application so I'm gonna take the color from top and I'm gonna remove the oops sometimes the sketch irritates a lot but yeah remove the border and now let's make it completely yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, complete oval so now uh, let's make this in center because this button so I'm gonna group it again so command G on the keyboard and now I'm gonna center a line to the card yeah this looks better now uh, I think the size of the button is fine for now uh, yeah so 
this is going to be 45.00 cents now I'm again center line this let's see the distance from bottom let's make it 16 pixels uh, and drop this yeah so let's make it 16 pixels from bottom cool now what we're gonna do is we are just gonna you know first of all let's lock the background because we are not gonna use the background anymore so I'm gonna lock it from here I just uh, right clicked here and went ahead to unlock sorry lock the layer uh, now let's select this and group this and as you see it says 9 pixel from top and from left it is 16 so I'm gonna make it 16 from top as well uh, two more yeah looks properly cleanly aligned now I'm gonna remove this this was just for the reference of uh, calculating the distance and you know the next cards width. Uh, now I'm gonna you know go to and now I'm gonna press on option and now I'm gonna press option to duplicate and duplicate this literally like this yeah and let's make the distance from right 16 pixels there we go properly cleanly aligned now I'm gonna use a different product image let's say this one this is 75 54 and again scale it down to say 75 and remove the apple maybe just first put it there so it's aligned to the way apple was and now I'm going to remove the background apple let's rename it quickly it's going to be chicken Yummy leg piece. Awesome. And gonna price it somewhere around 50 is too much. So let's name $10. 10 dollars, 10.12 cents. And the new price is gonna be. 8.04 cents, 02 cents. Okay, now I have the ability to add it to the card, and because this is non wage, I'm gonna make it red and the border as well to the right. Perfect. Ah. Uh, the screen doesn't look equally no dark so I'm gonna select it make it a little more dark yeah, this is better and select the rectangle as well and make it dark again done ah uh, now let's make it one kg. One kg. So similarly gonna add these products to somehow I'm not able to sell it. Again, Alt, drag, will drag the 
layers. So I'm gonna make it 16 pixels from. Uh, so the difference, all the sides should be 16 pixels. So this is gonna be 16 again. Um, let's add quickly this Nutella here and bread here. I'm gonna again make it 75. I'm gonna make it 75. I'm remove apple, put it in the center. And reduce the size of this a little bit more. A little more. Yeah, this is fine. It looks okay. Yeah, perfect. That's fine. Yeah. And now I'm going to make this a center line as well. This is 27, so let's see what is the distance here. Yeah, 16. Okay. Now, uh, let's again make it green. Because bread is vegetarian. Done. So I'll rename it quickly. Nutella. By the way, Nutella is my favorite. Taste of hazelnut. And this is going to be a whole wheat bread. And let the price remain same. I think you got the ideology that price is obviously going to be different for different products, uh, but not you know putting too much time on that. And quickly just uh, show you one more thing. So what really happens is once you click or you tap on Add to Cart, it gives you the option to to increase the quantity as well. Now to make that happen, I'm going to remove this, make it 28, so it looks like a circle. And I'm going to zoom to this, so my focus is only, the, only on this. I'm going to go back to the icons and grab plus minus from the list, which is this. Go back to my sketch. I paste it. Move minus back into the artboard I really need that edge oops come on I don't know, my sketch is really slow, so please bear with me. Just gonna paste it here. Now we have it here, and now I'm gonna just add this plus here. 
here and minus on the left. And we get wide. Center line this. Group them together. And now add is here. Now again gonna take this out. Put it in the center. Make it white again. I'll group it again. So yeah, here's my plus, sorry, my minus. Minus, gonna name it quickly, and this is my plus. Now there are so many groups being created. Plus, once I'm done with this, uh gonna just move it a little there and now I'm gonna add the quantity so the quantity is gonna be say one now zoom out a bit Let's increase the size a little more say 20 And distribute them equally by you know clicking here and now let's see the distance from left and right Let me move it yeah perfect done so once I click on add to cart it is gonna make give it is gonna give me this option to literally you know uh, increase or decrease the quantity my leg piece is missing somehow. Here it is. Perfect. So, so far so good. This is done. Now we're just quickly going to add the bottom bar, which is again going to be, say, 48 pixels. Bottom line, remove the border, make it white. And now I'm going to Add few icons here, which is this is the bottom tab bar. So let's add few icons here, which is like you know home. I'll quickly jump to material icons. So I need home. Let's find out home.
Then I have all my entries. I'm gonna distribute them properly. So these are gonna be my icons and quickly just align them. So the cart is gonna be the fourth one, the bell is gonna be center one, and there will be search in the center. So what I'm gonna do is I have a plugin through which I generally find icons that's selected already. So I'm gonna go and type search. As soon as I type search, I get a search and there you see. Now, this icon is of 24, 24 and this is 20, so I'm gonna make it 24. Perfect. Distribute them equally, align them center. There we go. Just gonna add, drag and drop it here. Again, I'm gonna make sure that there is at least 36, 32 pixel difference from left and from right. 32 as well. Now I'm going to select all of them and again distribute them horizontally. Done. There you go. Just to be consistent, uh, because you are on the screen and it's active, you are going to make it, uh, no, it's this color which is our accent color. So I'm gonna take the dipper, select the color and make it done. That's how you create an application screen. And that's how it is done. So thank you very much guys. Uh, it was pleasure telling you how to create this you know, application screen. Uh, hoping to be better next time. For other, you know, videos or if you want to learn more screens, I want to give suggestions on how I can improve as well as if you have any suggestions on what I should be creating next, uh, please drop a comment below and please like, subscribe and share this video channel to as much as uh, you can. Thank you very much. Signing off. Bye-bye. Take care.